You may not know about the Nitro Deck, but it took the gaming world by storm by enhancing the handheld experience of both the original and the OLED Switch models. In one clean package, the Nitro Deck added comfort, removed the worry of stick drift, and provided low latency inputs as well as a variety of other features. With the help of fan feedback, we took everything that you loved about the Nitro Deck and built upon it for a new gaming experience. This is the Nitro Deck Plus. The Nitro Deck Plus is not meant to replace the original Nitro Deck. Instead, it's meant to be an alternative option to live alongside it. Everybody has different preferences, so we crafted the Nitro Deck Plus to fit the experience that was asked for through community feedback. At first glance, the most noticeable change is the redesigned right side of the deck. We swapped the thumbsticks and action button placements, so now the Nitro Deck Plus is equipped with a symmetrical thumbstick layout. This is going to add another layer of comfort, especially for the games that require a lot of aiming and use of the right thumbstick. To help support this new stick layout, we added a brand new feature called Sidekick Buttons. Sidekick Buttons can be programmed to any button press or a series of button presses. So in short, they work nearly identically to the buttons on the back of the Nitro Deck Plus. We changed the programming of the back buttons, so now now out of the box, they'll be bound to the action buttons. So A, B, X, and Y. Utilizing both the sidekick and back buttons together allows you to quickly and easily access the action buttons while always keeping your thumb resting comfortably near the top of the deck. Don't worry though, if you want to change the button's bindings, you can still reprogram both the sidekick and the back buttons to fit the playstyle that you like, or if you don't want to use them at all, you can unbind them completely. The original Nitro Deck primarily enhanced the handheld experience, but the Nitro Deck Plus can be used as a dog. There are two USB-C ports on the back of the deck, labeled input and output. The input's still going to allow you to charge and play, as well as use the deck as an extra controller. But now, the output port is going to support HDMI out. If you pre-order the Nitro Deck Plus, it's going to come with a USB-C to HDMI adapter, otherwise you can pick one up from the accessory section on our website, or if you already own one, you can use that. There's some extra tech in the Nitro Deck Plus that the original Nitro Deck doesn't have, so unfortunately the HDMI out is not going to work with the original Nitro Deck. Just like any other dock, when using the Nitro Deck Plus in docked mode, you're going to need some power going to it. We recommend using the power block that came with your Switch to guarantee that your cable can supply enough power to support the docking function. Now you have no reason to take your Switch out of the deck, but if for some reason you do need to remove your Switch, we've added an easy eject feature. To use this, just slide up the release mechanism on the back of the Nitro Deck Plus. Once you push it all the way to the top, it's going to push your switch up a bit, allowing you to easily remove it. We've also added a bit more space between your switch and the back of the deck, so your switch should slide out easily. No matter what, you're always going to want to be gentle when inserting or removing your switch from the Nitro Deck Plus. Oh, speaking of removable, if you've picked up a stick top pack in the past, those are going to be compatible with the Nitro Deck Plus as well. When we announced the original Nitro Deck, we received a lot of feedback asking for some new features. Some of these features we were able to implement with firmware updates. Before shipments even went out, we were able to add turbo mode to all of the Nitro decks, and then later down the road, we released another update that added adjustable rumble, a no dead zone mode, and the ability to change the sensitivity of your triggers. All of these features are going to be available in the Nitro Deck Plus as well, but on top of that, we've also implemented a Bluetooth connection. So as we get more feedback from you and make more improvements to the Nitro Deck Plus, you can easily update it through the cracked app. As of now, we have a feature in development that's going to allow you to rebind your buttons and change some of the other adjustable features within the app as well. The Nitro Deck Plus is going to cost $69.99 and is available in two colorways clear black and clear white. We don't currently have any plans for future editions, so let us know if you'd like to see more Nitro Deck Plus designs in the future. Early pre-orders of the Nitro Deck Plus are going to ship at the end of April, while later orders will ship in May. Thanks for watching and welcome to the Cracked Family.